Well, a woman is shot by a man she says she doesn't even know. Tonight, police are trying to figure out who opened fire and why. Officers found the victim this afternoon along West Summit Street and North Main Avenue near Apopka High School. News 6's Brian Didlake is there with the clues and the questions. Apopka police say they are still actively looking for the suspect. The scene is clear, but the vehicle that the victim was driving before being shot, a white Honda with the windows now rolled back up. We spoke to neighbors who say this incident was something out of the blue. To shock, this is usually a quiet area, you know, a nice neighborhood. Darvis tells me he got home as police were putting up crime scene tape, shocked to hear a woman was shot. Especially seeing everything blocked off and there's somebody that I actually know, it's kind of messed up. Apopka police say they responded to the Main Avenue apartments and villas around 1 this afternoon. When officers arrived, they found one woman suffering from a gunshot wound, a bullet casing seen next to a marker beside the driver's side window. While we were investigating, the victim before she left the scene advised our officers that the suspect was a young male in a light blue van with damage on the passenger or driver's side of the vehicle. Apopka Police Chief Mike McKinley. Our officers, while doing routine patrol, searching the area, located a van matching that description. That van was located just south of Apopka High School. That required us to put Apopka High School in a secure condition for the safety of the students. Now that lockdown was later lifted. Again, police say they have secured the van, but at this point, no arrests have been made. If you have any information about this incident, you are encouraged to call police immediately. But for now, we are in Apopka. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.